my name is Dr. Christoph Acton and this is a MRI scan toy by Playmobil and in this video we will give this toy a little reality check. <laughs> So these are the different parts of this toy. We can see we have an MR scanner, we have one guy here, which is probably the technician or radiologist, whatever you like. This one is the patient. We have something that looks like a bottle, a watch, some plain film here and a trolley with uh, different drawers. So let's first uh, start off with the technician here. Interestingly, on the artwork on the box, you can see that the technician is actually wearing the watch here. So first of all, he's wearing it on the right hand side, something I noticed and I think it's not a good idea to wear the watch uh, working in a MRI scanner suit. Um, anyways, that's what he's doing. And then the other thing that he is also doing on the box art is holding this plain film here which is kind of interesting because we are actually dealing with a MR scanner and not a radiograph. Although there is also a uh, radiograph toy as well. And you can see the anatomic representation is not very accurate. The ulna uh, is completely there, but we don't have a radial head. The number of ribs also doesn't really match. Maybe I can go closer. And uh, the shoulder joint looks kind of weird, there's no glenoid, there's no real ac acromion and uh, the clavicula does not really articulate with the manubrium. So we have a few issues here already. So the patient, she looks okay, I'm not too worried about her at this moment, um, nothing extraordinary. The bottle probably, I don't know, she's thirsty or maybe the technician or the radiologist uh, are thirsty. I don't think it's a uh, kind of contrast uh, to drink because it's a MR and not a CT scanner. This is the trolley where we have some accessories which are always helpful. Let's open the first one, see what's in there. So we have some scissors, maybe to open some bandages, hopefully not for emergency. Declothing, not sure about that. How often did you use a scissors in a MR scanner? Well, maybe the technicians do, I don't. We have some, I don't know, pincettes called in German, I'm not sure about the English term. Also not frequently used, I guess. And this one I can understand, we have a syringe, because we need to inject this poor little lady some IV gadolinium here. Alright, very good. So we probably give this to the technician here. Then there is another, oh, look at that, we have a knife. What? Well, that's interesting, why would we need a knife in a MR scanner suit? I would be very, well, that could be quite dangerous, right? Uh, especially if it's some kind of a magnetic metal, so not so good. Now let's move on to the MR scanner itself looks kind of cool um, they did some really nice detail work as well so you have to move the table here you have to strap to actually fixate the patient which is quite nice I think it's a nice detail and then you have this emergency handle here you can even store it away like this and if the patient is actually inside the scanner she can use it if there is some kind of a problem like that. So that's a nice detail. She can go inside the scanner like this. Very good. Now here the problem starts. So as you can see the numbers and the buttons there, they might be okay. I'm not too worried about that. Even this one here looks kind of familiar with different vendors, CT and MR. Uh, but the screen, I'm not really convinced about the screen. First of all, it's showing uh, two radiographs, one of a child and one of an adult, and they are next to each other. So I'm not really sure what they are doing there right next to each other. Certainly not scanned in this machine and uh, not a X-ray machine. But I understand why they did it, because if 
there's an MR image, nobody would really recognize what's actually going on on the screen. So it's an easy anatomic representation that something is going on here with the human body. So the manufacturer is just some, some makeup or mock-up here. Again, this looks very much like Siemens. Um, that's, that's fine, nothing to mention here. And on the back, oh, that's handy. So we have some, some um, plugs here as well. Looks like just the standard plugs. Nothing too, too fancy, two of them, so kind of nice. Okay, so now let's try to replicate the box art. So the official box art looks something like this and it's not a really good representation of what actually would happen in reality. Now let's see what actually would happen in reality. So that's probably what would have happened in reality as we can see here. First of all, his watch is certainly not on his wrist anymore, especially if it's not going all the way around. Uh, sorry for the Apple watch here. Then the knife and the scissors, potentially magnetic, would probably hurt the patient real hard. The pincet, or whatever it's called, the pincer, also if it's metallic, somewhere here at this region. He is in shock because he didn't think that that would actually ever happen to him. And the patient, well, she wasn't smiling anymore. The trolley would fall over, I don't know why, but it just looks better in the image. So I hope this was not too disturbing for you guys and you probably realized that I'm not a professional toy reviewer for that matter and it's not the kind of videos that I normally do. So I normally do MSK radiology teaching videos, so I'm teaching other radiologists and healthcare professionals about radiology of the musculoskeletal system. And I saw this toy and thought I need to have it for my daughter and the other children so they get an idea what daddy's profession is. And I'm really curious what they are coming up with this toy. And with that, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you're a healthcare professional and want to know more about radiology, especially the musculoskeletal radiology, then also subscribe to my channel and see you next time.